Oh, good afternoon. Good to see you again. Welcome to Hope for Today. And today I'm going to talk about integrity. C.S. Lewis, the author of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, once said, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. I think that's a really great place to start today. As you all know, this week I'm waiting with some eagerness to hear from the NHS as to the date for my first COVID-19 vaccination. As Christelle's appointment came to the house by a phone call, um, I now feel compelled to answer every phone call just in case. Now, how depressing, because all the junk phone calls that I have missed over the last couple of years by not answering the phone, it's now payback time. I can't avoid them, and I've been tempted on a couple of occasions to play along with, with their scam, with their fake stories and their devious plans, and then my plan, or my thinking was, just to say at the end of my parting piece, how dare you be so devious, immoral, and scrupulous, etc. But as yet, I haven't been quite brave enough to do it. So, what is integrity? It's been said that integrity is the quality of being honest and having been strong moral principles or moral uprightness. Others have suggested that integrity means that actions are in sync with the values, beliefs and principles of that individual who claims to hold them. As we've said already, it's so important that this week, honesty is a crucial part of life. If we are to have marriages that last and are fulfilling, lifelong close friendships, and then, of course, that don't fall apart, and indeed successful businesses then integrity is surely one of the most important cornerstones that you can build on in life it's been said that without integrity it's almost impossible to have a successful and a happy life there are many business management gurus who speak at length <laughs> great length write lots of books costly books about the important in principle of integrity and then sadly their own personal lives fall somewhat short of the watermark or the benchmark that they set for everybody else how how sad is that and it's indicative of the day that we live in isn't it king solomon the king famed for his wisdom that he wrote many proverbs that are recorded in the bible about what he'd learnt in life he says Righteousness guards the man of integrity, uh, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. That's Proverbs 13, verse 6. And that just grabbed my attention today, because <clears throat> being honest is part of integrity. But actions speak very much louder than words, don't they? It's good that we say the right thing. Of course it is. To be honest, <clears throat> when, it casts, when it's costly. But doing the right thing so that our action marries up with what we say, now that's even more important. And that's actually integrity. Solomon seems to suggest that righteousness acts as a guardsman. Hmm. He sets a guard over those who live their lives according to such a principle of doing what they say. We read the word righteousness a lot in the Bible. Jesus said, for example, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be given to you as well. You see, God's righteousness is his right way of doing things. And unlike you and me, he is perfect in all his ways. But if we seek first his right way of doing things in our lives, then that will guard us in all our ways, like a protective bubble or a force field. The psalmist calls it a hedge of protection. King Solomon made a very astute observation. Those who sadly don't live with integrity as the plumb line in life and have no regard for God's righteousness at all, are sadly overcome by wickedness. And that means they bring unfair, unjust and unscrupulous accusations against those who do. What they forget 
is that in God, there is a divine protection that comes when we seek him first. Have a good day. Bye-bye.